Okay, start by creating a new layer above the layer of the uh, that you want to color. So in this example, I've just uh, loaded up an eye, and I'm going to change the color of the eye. So you can see that I have a single layer uh, called layer one, and I'm going to go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and choose hue and saturation. This will load up, and it'll ask me, uh, you know, what name do you want to give it? I'm just going to go with the default here. Click OK, and uh, you have a hue, a saturation, and a lightness. And the trick to this is on the colorize uh, checkbox. When you click that, you can see that it changes the color of the entire layer based on where you slide the hue, saturation, and lightness settings to adjust all of that. Uh, but we just want the pupil of the eye. So actually what we want to do is mask out the eye. And the easiest way to do that is to actually create the mask before you add the hue and saturation layer. So I'm going to do that real quick here. I'm going to cancel out of the new layer. And I'm going to grab the uh, polygon lasso tool. And you can use a circle or the magnetic or whatever, but uh, this one goes fairly quick. And I'm just going to rough out around the pupil here. I'm not going to worry about being exact for this quick demo. Just get a basic idea of what we want. Okay, and then we're going to go up to layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. And now you'll see that it actually creates a layer mask for me uh, to begin with. Uh, you can see right here that it just has the eye. Uh, the pupil area that I've defined and again don't forget to check the colorize and now you can see that the iris of the eye has been turned into this brown color and you can go in and slide the hue and go through all the different uh, colors that are available to you and down here you can see uh, an idea of, of the effect that you're adding to the layer beneath it um, so we can make this eye uh, whatever color that we want to by going through these different levels. Uh, let's see if we want to do a uh, red eye. We need to go over to this side and then increase the saturation and darkness, lightness, eh, close enough. Uh, and then when you're all done, you click OK. And there you go. That's how you change the color of an eye. Uh, because this is a, a non-destructive layer, you can actually go into the layer mask itself and uh, clean up the, the layer so that uh, you don't have any of this spill over on the edges and whatnot. You can also feather the selection and, and things like that. Hope that helps.